implement any hierarchy concept. What is the main advantage in the real time environment? That is the only advantage. So it's basically it's common right structure. Yeah. So, sorry, these universes are used for reusability, right? Uh, reusability and also we are going to minimizing the maintenance. Let us suppose I don't have the common structure the sales information I required the product information that is the reason I add the product tables also within the sales. I have a purchase universe I need the product information that is the reason I whatever the tables related to product I added within the purchase also. Let us suppose if I want to do the modifications to the product table I need to go for sales table sales universe level I need to do some modification the product tables are also available on the purchase universe then I need to go for the purchase universe and I, and I need to do the modifications so whoever wherever the product tables information I need to open all those universes I need to do the modification if it is not linking the concept okay what is the advantage of this linking yes we have a, a main universe that is a product that is just linked with the different different universes Whenever you want to do the modification, you no need to go for derivative ones. You can just do the modification of the main kernel universe. Those changes will reflect automatically to your derived universes. That is the main advantage, minimizing the maintenance and reusing to the different universes. Okay. Those are the main two reasons why we are implementing the linking concept in the real time. Without linking also in the real time environment, I can create a report without uh, linking the universes. I have a concept in universe design in, in the report creation level, merging concept is there. I can merge two universe information into a single table. It's not a problem. But there are some, some limitations. Okay. Okay. So this is the universe creation. We observed different uh, clients and uh, different connections and we created different universes. Okay then how to create a universe on top of the Bex query on top of the SAP warehouse system. How to create an universe from SAP warehouse system. SAP warehouse people they will maintain the cube environment like a table in our database level they have the cubes in the their warehouse system on top of the SAP warehouse they can create a they can use the reporting tool they have their BEX query so they can create a report by using that BEX query so our advantage of universe if you have a BEX query already in your cube level, we can come to the BEX query or we can come to the queue, then we can create a universe on top of that. On top of that BEX query and the queue, we can create a universe. How to create universe on top of that? We need authentications. We need authentications to Bex query creation. We need authentication to connecting to the cube. Like while we connected to the Oracle database system, we provide the SCART username and password. Similarly, we need the authentications. Let's check one by one. first you I have the details of the SAP BI system yeah these are the passwords usernames to control to the SAP business warehouse system okay go to the start menu Sriram it was designed to Provide the password. Okay. 
cancel this wizard and go for manual creation. Provide the name as a SAP client. Create a new connection. Connection name SAP client. Next, the driver is required. SAP Business Warehouse System, expand that, SAP Client, next. So whatever the usernames are there, yeah, we have to type as it is uh, their username, capital, capital S I suppose, capital S, no, no, wait, 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 don't change this note back. Because the authentications are available on the details only. Just to have a look, S is the capital, Suresh at 1, 2, 3, okay, see. Okay. Okay. I don't know whether it is working or not, carry on. password, Suresh at 1, 2, 3, client, have a client look, who is the client? PI7, no, 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 no. Okay, let's try in another way. I will give some other username. Let me give the password one moment. Caps remove. Client is uh, 001. Long ways English. Application server 202.65. Dot dot. This is the server where that uh, BI software is installed, 169.03 system ID is development environment. This is the authentication, let me check whether it is working or not. Yes. When I connected to the SCART username and password, what I can see there, all the available tables in that SCART user. Similarly, whatever the cubes are available in that username, it is showing all the available cubes. At a time, we can connect only single cube. Take any one cube, just example. Sure, At a time, Let's take one example. Next, next, finish. In the table level, in the database table level, what we maintain? We will maintain the columns. Similarly, SAP BI people, they will maintain the characteristics and the key figures. The cube creation level. Like a table, we are maintaining the columns. Similarly, they are maintaining the characteristics and the key figures. When I drag and drop the columns, it is going to create objects automatically. When I connected the cube, on the top of the characteristics and the key figures, it is going to create everything. See that automatically? Left hand side, if you observe, everything will create automatically. On top of the cube, if you are creating universe, using that cube characteristics and the key figures, all the objects will create automatically. Whatever the key figures they are maintaining in their queue, it is going to create as a measures here. Measures and automatically the class and objects will be create dimensions. Then we can save it and we can export and we can create a report. Save it. We can create a report on top of that. So this is one way we can directly connecting to the cube and we are creating universe. Then we are going for report creation. This is one way. And another way, 
if they created any bets query, how to create bets query, go to the business explorer, query designer, click on that. They have to select this one, Suresh. Which one? Yeah, we can do one thing. We can. Is it working? Let's check. Click on OK. Whether it is working, client is 001. Username is uh, that username. It's not not that one. It is different one. I think Suresh, you can just use only Suresh. Do you want me to use Suresh? Uh, Suresh, password. Suresh at one two three. If it is not working, then we can change. Just to click on OK. Okay, so it's not working. We'll do one thing. We can create a new one. In query designer. We'll change everything here. System is a zero three. System is DEV. Can you change that DEV? Which one? Uh BI7 level, BI7 level, it is showing as BI7. Right. There you can give the name as a DEV. DEV, okay. Host 202 dot mm -hmm. 65 dot mm -hmm. 155 dot okay. 169 and the system number is 03. Click on OK. Client is 001. So username is Nagaraj. N-A-G-A-R-A-J. -A -A same. Password also same. N-A-G-A-R-A-J. -A -A Language is English. Click on OK. Then the query designer will be open. Before business objects, they are using this query designer only for report creation, the BW and BI people. After purchasing the business objects, now they are also using the business object as a reporting tool. Okay. Create a new query on top of the info provider. Let me take one example of Q anyone okay let me take SAP demo under that anyone then they will maintain if you observe they will maintain as the dimensions and the key figures then net sales I am going to display in the columns level customer information is going to place into the row level. Row as a customers, columns as the net sales. Then just save it. Where I am saving favorites. Just give the technical name and description name Sriram. Just to give it as a Sriram bets. Technical name also should be same. Yeah. Yes, sorry, RDM. Click on save. Okay. Now, query is created. If I want to use this query in the universe creation level, I have to give the permission. Allow external access to this query. Save it. Query is created. Then close this if you go to the universe designer now go to the file menu create new one provide the universe name SAP BEX 
created Bex B E X Bex query. Create a new connection. Connection name is SAP Bex. Next, choose the driver as a SAP. Same SAP warehouse system. SAP business warehouse. SAP client. Next. Username is the Nagaraj. N A G A R A J. Password also same. Client is 001. Language is English. Application server 202.65.155.169. System number is 03. System ID is DEV. Then next. Now it is going to. Yeah, what we created. Is it displaying anywhere? That is the Bex we created. Yes, to next. Finish. Click on OK. Then whatever you have taken as the customer and the net sales are going to create as automatically the dimensions and measures automatically. So this classes and object creation purely depends on the the characteristics and the key figures on the cube creation level. Like a columns in the table level, in the warehouse people, SAP business warehouse people, they will maintain the characteristics and the key figures. So this is the way how we can connect into the SAP cube or if they already created any query query on the top of that, we can create a universe on top of the backs and top of the inverse also. This is the universe creation from universe design tool. But here the limitation limitations using universe design tool only one connection at a time. I can't create my universe more than one database connection. That is one limitation. At a time only one user only can be working on that universe. One user can work on that universe. Okay. So these are the some limitations using the universe design tool. You are creating the universe. The extension is dot .unv. So the same universe creation coming to the 4.0, they introduced a tool called information design tool. Here we can create the universe. The extension is dot unx and here we can take the more than one connection at a time we can create the universe and multiple people can work on the same universe at a time and we can create number of connections we can create multiple times on that universe creation level these are the few advantages of the information design tool, the universe creation. Same thing, whatever we discussed in the universe creation, those also will be appear on the information design tool, but with little bit small differences, steps creation. We'll see that in information design tool on the and also universe creation level must and should if I want to test I need to open must and should a reporting tool if I want to test the universe
we need to use reporting tool. But coming to information design tool, within the information universe creation level, we can test it. That is also advantage of universe creation using information design tool. Within the universe creation, we can test that universe. That is also some advantages of information design tool for universe creation. So how the look and feel of universe creation in the information design tool? I have got a question. Yeah. Tell me. Uh, how can multiple people work on the same universe? But how would that changes would be either reflected? If, uh, if I'm you are saving it, it will it will it will change automatically. It will highlight to you these things are done by this person. Will you continue or not? Oh, okay. But here it will not working, but uh, in the real time it will work. Okay. But generally, it will not suggest suggestible. Maybe in future they may give some restrictions. Okay. They give that option, but it is not suggestible. Okay. Already I advise it to the client also. We'll see what they are going to be take the action and about that. Okay. Okay. That's about the class today. So if you have if you have any pending assignments, please complete them. So how the universe creation using universe or information design tool, we'll see on tomorrow's class. I'm yeah. going to send these files. Please come to the Skype. Just ping me anyone. I will send to that person. Okay. How can you?